Okay, let's move on now to how to send and receive text messages. So at the bottom of your screen, you'll see this little icon. This is your messages icon. You're gonna tap on that. And anytime someone sends you a text message, it will show up in this section. I have a couple of old messages that are already in the phone here. Um, I'm gonna just tap on this first one. And here I can see the different messages that have come through. Super easy there. I'm gonna use my back button to jump out of the message and go back to the main screen of the messages app. Now, if I want to send a message, or really quickly, you'll notice that some of the messages are in normal text and some are in bold. Whenever you see bold, that means that it is a message that has not been opened yet. So this is a way to distinguish between new messages and older messages that you've already seen. Now, in the bottom right corner, you'll see a button that says start chat. And this is how you start a new message. So if I want to text someone, I can either enter their name if I've already saved their contact in the phone, or I can tap in the bottom left corner of my keyboard here on the one, two, three. That's gonna bring up my numbers and I can enter the phone number that I'd like to send the message to. And let's just enter this phone number here. And now that I've put the whole number in, I can tap send to and that number, and it will add that number in and it'll start a message for that person. Now, um, it's already gonna tee up my message. So where it says text message, you'll see a little flashing cursor and I can simply start typing my message. Hi, how are you? And then I can use this button. This is your send button that's gonna send that message. Now, one thing you'll notice right um, on this uh, message line, you'll have an emoji button that you can tap to enter an emoji to send to someone and then hit your send button. You'll also see a little microphone right here. If you hold down this microphone and then you talk, it will begin to record a voice message that you can send through text. So I just, that uh, few seconds of me talking, it's gonna seal it into a voice uh, memo. I can play it before I send it. And then you talk, it will begin to record a voice message. Now if I hit send, it's gonna send that person that little voice message and they can tap in, just listen to it. Sometimes it's easier to communicate by sending someone a voice message than typing out a full message. You have another option as well. On your keyboard, you will see this microphone, which is different. When you tap on that microphone, it's going to type whatever you say. Kind of like what I showed you in the Play Store, it's like that. You tap the microphone, you say what you want it to type, and it will add it into the message, just like this. Good morning, Cheryl. I hope you have a great day today. Give me a call when you have a minute. Thank you. When you're done, simply tap on the microphone so it'll stop listening. It uh, grabbed a few extra words, so I'm just going to remove those words like that. And then I'm gonna tap on this little arrow to send that message. So those are a few different ways you can interact with a text message. Now, there is a plus to the left here, to the left of the message. And here you can attach different things to your message. So you can uh, tap the gallery button to then uh, find a picture that you would like to attach. Let's grab a good picture. I have a couple of good ones in here. So let's say I wanna attach this picture. I'm just gonna tap on it. I'm gonna tap this awesome burger. And then I'm gonna tap my send button right here and that's going to send those two pictures in the message. So that's one way to send a picture. If I hit that plus, I can also tap on GIFs, and then I can look through and find one of those cool, um, funny GIFs to attach as well. I'm gonna tap on this one, and then hit the send button again. And now I just sent a funny gift in response to uh, the person's message. So these are just ways you'll attach different things uh, and send them via text message. All right. You do also have some options at the top here. 
If I tap on the camera, it's going to initiate a Google Meet call and that'll basically be a video chat with that person. If I tap on the phone, it will just initiate a normal voice call to that person. All right. Now, when I'm finishing this message, I'm going to hit my back button to back out of that message and get back to the main screen of my text messages app. At this point, I can then start a new chat with someone else or I can choose to open another message and read it. And when you're finished and you're all done with that message, you can simply leave it there to reference later or you can swipe to the right to archive the message and it will then basically move it off of your messages screen. All right. So that's a brief overview of how to send and receive text messages in the Messages app. I also have a link below to this uh, cool Bluetooth speaker that will be also in the YouTube shopping cart right here. So if you're in the market for a new Bluetooth speaker, definitely check out this in the shopping cart. I also have uh, that wall charger I mentioned as well. That'll just be, uh, will go with the cable you got in the box to make sure you can charge the phone properly. Thanks again for watching. Take care and as always, have a good one.